Um, this is just um, a bit of a showing of my meat rabbit setup. I'm only new to this and I just started myself but um, yeah I just wanted to show you my setup and I'll keep you updated on how things go and thanks to all you guys on YouTube for giving me all the advice and tips. Um, yeah so this is my cage that I've made myself and hung it here and made the feeders myself as well. Got all the area for them to catch their poo. Uh, and they're wasting a bit of hay, so I'll fix that up with tying it up a bit more. <laughs> um, this is my boy. He's only three months old. He's um, yeah, uh, my buck, New Zealand White. Now we've got a Kelly over there in the corner. Um, she's a doe. And my New Zealand White doe. Sorry, it's a bit dark. Got home late from work. <laughs> yeah, so they'll be ready to breed in a couple of months. And yeah, that's the setup. Um, so I'm going to obviously put the buck on the Kelly doe and then the New Zealand White doe. And I'll be using them for meat for our family, and um, it'll be done in a humane way. And uh, yeah, so they get well looked after here, and they get time to free range out in the little garden area. Um, so it's good every afternoon, they usually get a run. Um, so down on the bottom level, I'll have this grow out pens, and um, another area for a buck or a doe on the, on the end just there. So two grow out pens here. So I've got to put that in with the board, makeshift board that I've put. That'll go in between. Yeah, so it's a. I'll keep you guys updated how I go. Um, but basically, I'm learning as I go, and yeah, um, hopefully, we'll get a successful couple of litters. And while I'm at it, this is my backyard. This is Australia, by the way, so hi to all you US guys. That's my chicken area. I've got a bit of a community going. My neighbour's got the chickens going to the back of their shed to clean up the back area of that. It's my little boy, Staff. That's uh, my beehive. I've got. Um, about 30 kilos off the hive this year of honey, so they've done so well for the first year. A couple of worm farms, all my compost heaps, uh, pool, um, and then I've got the veggie garden, turning it over, getting ready for winter. It's the last bits of summer harvest, the corn still harvesting and all that. Um, then I've got my strawberries, and then, yeah, pretty much everything else. Nice sunset today, if you can see that. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got down the side, I've got raspberry chalices, um, passion fruit vines over the tank, fig tree, uh, nectarine and peach, guava just there, orange tree, um, a blueberry tree bushes there, and I've got my citrus, lime, lemon, orange, and mandarin. A grapevine going over the veranda, herb garden, and um, there's another lychee tree and a bay leaf tree there, and then a new garden ready to go for a winter crop because that gets full sun. But yeah, that's my setup. Bit of a mini farm in the backyard, <laughs> and um, the newest addition was a rabbit, so I'll keep you updated and let you know how they breed. Thanks, guys.